Catch. Get ready for a surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shree and let's waste some time together. Today we're gonna be watching Total Recall. Ever since I went on my Paul Verhoeven journey with Robocop and Starship Troopers, people have been recommending this movie to me to finish the trilogy of sorts. I know they're not connected, but they're kind of uh, born from the same mindset with the same ideas and the same principles. And ever since I watched both movies, I've been a fan of Verhoeven. I have been researching this man, researching his childhood, and his ideas and I gotta say judging by the title itself it seems like this movie is about like a factory or something and the product was recalled back or something but my subscribers told me you guys told me to not have any assumptions because this is gonna defy expectations and you know that was enough to entice me and I can't wait to check it out I love when a movie is nothing like I expect it to be and I love going into movies blind so if you want to watch the full reaction to this or if you just want to support this channel you can at patreon.com slash Nation, or you can make a one-time donation at buy me a coffee at Shree Nation. You can also become a channel member by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button. You can also subscribe to my second channel in case anything happens to this one and for podcasts and tutorials on the back and work on how to make a YouTube video. A big shout out to Internet Philosopher for helping me edit this video. You can check out his channel as well. Well, I feel like I've wasted enough of your time. Without further ado, let's get recalled. Paul Verhoeven. <laughs> Everybody corrected me on my pronunciation, so that was uh, a lesson. Philip K. Dick. Oh, damn. Isn't Philip K. Dick the one who wrote uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and The Man in the High Castle? Nice. I don't know anything about this author, but people told me about him in my Blade Runner reaction. And I was like, whoa, I got to read his stuff. But I didn't want to read the Android's Electric Sheep short story. I wanted to read a novel. So I bought The Man in the High Castle because the concept seemed so great. I have to recheck if that's actually from Philip K. Dick or if I'm making an ass of myself right now. What the fuck? Are we in Mars? It's, this is a red planet, so... Uh, we are in Mars. Ooh, Arnie. Damn, are they on a date in Mars? That would be dope. If a guy takes me out to Mars. I just don't know how we'll get back. Oh no. All right, I take it back. Oh shit. Ooh, I take it back. Dating on Mars is a bad idea. 80s and 90s, Arnie was so sexy. God, the room just got hotter. I need to turn up the AC a bit better. Holy shit. Was she there? Oh my god, that's Sharon Stone. God, she was so hot in Casino, and she's hot here. I don't know. You better tell me. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Dogs dream about her every night. Oh, it's a nobody. Okay. Damn. I hope it's an actual nobody nobody and not some girl he's dating on the side. But it does happen though. I sometimes dream of people that don't exist. It's so weird. Once again halted the extraction of turbinium ore. Turbinium ore. Ah! It's a better name than unobtainium. I mean, Tempted Avatar didn't even try. Pyramid mines. Ooh. I like that the TV is just a window. It's kind of like today, but that's awesome. Mars Administrator Velos Cohagen vowed that troops would be used, if necessary, to keep production at full capacity. Of course. The fracking must never stop, even if it's on Mars. Move to Mars. But you'd hate it on Mars. It's dry, it's ugly, it's boring. Revolution could break out there any second. Ooh, so Mars is habitable now. It's just a third world country. Less than a third world country. It's under civil war man artifacts inside <laughs> there's a lot better places Sorry. than mars Hats. what about saturn damn let the man enjoy his tv program in the morning 
<laughs> I'd be the same too. Please let me watch my movie or TV show. I feel like I was meant for something more than this. I want to do something with my life. Oh, he's going to end up in the middle of Mars, isn't he? In the middle of that war where Turbinium is involved? Yeah. You are now entering a safety zone. No unauthorized weapons allowed beyond this point. Damn. Wow, that is a scanner. Can scan your soul for weapons. Then come to Recall Incorporate, where you can buy the memory of your ideal vacation cheaper, safer, and better than the real thing. What the fuck? You don't have to go on a vacation, you can imagine it? In fact, we'll plant something in your brain to help you think you're in Mars? Wow. Recall Incorporated. Got it. Recall? Recall? Why not? A friend of mine tried one of their special offers. Nearly got himself a bottom line. Don't fuck with your brain, pal. Wise words. Never implant something in your brain. That neuraling shit that Musk is trying to do nowadays. You couldn't pay me a billion dollars to do something like that. To put something in my brain? Bruh. I don't care it make, if it makes me think I look like Angelina Jolie. I'm happy with the way I am. Fats and everything. So he's like not happy with where he is. God, this always starts this way. Just be happy where you are, what you look like, your status, everything. That nail thing was pretty cool. Now, help me out here, Doug. You were interested in a memory of... Uh... Mars. Okay. I don't know. This feels like a bad idea. He already dreams of Mars, but in a really bad way. If you want a longer trip, that'll cost you a little more because it's a deeper implant. What's in the two-week package? When you go recall, you get nothing but first-class memories. Oh, God. He's gonna go total recall, isn't he? Yeah, but how real does it seem? As real as any memory in your head. Don't bullshit me. No, I'm telling you, Doug, your brain will not know the difference. Just play a video game. Bro, just play a very realistic uh, Oculus-style video game if you have to. Don't do this. No amount of money could make me do this. And my imagination is very strong. I could put myself on Mars if I fucking wanted to. A real holiday is a pain in the butt. You got lost luggage, lousy weather, crooked taxi drivers. That is the point. Travel means the travel, not the destination. That's what we're that's why we travel. To get the full experience, not just to sit in a hotel. We I I love the crooked drivers too sometimes. It's a crazy ride. What is it? that is exactly the same about every single vacation you have ever taken. The plane seats? You. You're the same. No matter where you go, there you are. It's always the same old you. Fuck out of here. Every time you travel, you are the same, but at the same time, you do change a little bit. You're gonna love this, Doug. We offer you a choice of alternate identities during your trip. I'm- Oh, no. Go to Mars as a tourist when you can go as a playboy or a famous jock or secret agent. How much is that? Oh shit. Oh, he is the perfect customer for this. Someone who feels inadequate. Oh, they're gonna give him a fucking split personality disorder right now. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman. I don't want to spoil it for you, Doug. He already has an exotic woman. Oh, I mean, I guess it's exotic for me, not for girl. Kill the white bad people. guys and save the entire planet. Now you tell me, isn't that worth a measly 300 credits? Oh, this is a great sales pitch. And he's the perfect customer for this. Shit. Oh my god, he he's about to fuck up his life. He's about to get multiple personality disorder. It's your first trip? Mm -hmm. And it's called the well, don't ego worry. trip. Fuck up around here. You have to be like a dingus to sign up for something like that. For something called the ego trip. And, uh, would you like us to integrate some alien stuff? Sure, why not? Oh my god. Just play a video game! What is it so hard about that? Do video games not exist in this fucking world? Oh no. I can already see his relationship crumbling right now. I'll be asking you some questions, Doug, so we can fine tune that... the info program. I don't even know what she inserted into his brain. Oh god. So, how do you like your women? Brunette. Athletic. Okay, so he's got a type and it's not Sharon Stone. Aggressive. Sleazy. But... Be honest. This is like the Easy. least of my concern right now. He's about to go on an ego trip. 
Forty-one A, Ernie. Why is he gonna have a wild time? <laughs> He's not gonna want to come back. Oh. This sounds so addictive as well. They put you in a scenario where you're a secret agent on Mars with a beautiful brunette. No shit, you're never gonna come back. You come back to reality and it sucks. You better get down here. And look, I am with a very important client. It looks like we got another schizoid embolism. A schizoid embolism? That sounds horrible. Is it Arnie? <laughs> oh my god. They killed you all! What is he talking about? Oh, no. Let me go! Oh. Mr. Quaid, try to calm down! Ah. Oh my god. I'm timing now! Oh, you you timing. gave him a different personality? What the fuck? Oh bro, I think they gave him 17 tranquilizers. What is a schizoid embolism? Oh god. Dumb bitch. He's just acting out the secret agent portion of his ego trip. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why not? Because we haven't implanted it yet. Then why the fuck does he think he's a secret agent? Someone has erased his memory. We're talking about the fucking agency. Shut up! Wait a minute. I'm very, very, very confused. This is Paul Verhoeven we're talking about. Is this the memory that he's having right now or is this real? Oh my god, I'm gonna... I'm going to have an ego trip. I'm going to have a panic attack right now. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if he's like dreaming this stuff. They gave him a memory, right? And they said you wouldn't want to come back. What if his brain is like making this stuff up? Where am I? Ew, what the shit? You're in a Johnny Cat. I mean, what am I doing here? Oh, that is the creepiest robot ever. Huh? How did I get in this taxi? The door open. You got in? Oh, that is the worst Tesla taxi I've ever seen. If that creep robot drives me around, I'm gonna jump out of the cab. Thank you. Fuck you, Johnny Cab. That is so weird. You went to recall, remember? I did? Yeah, you did. I told you not to, but you went anyway. What are you, my father? I am so confused. What the f- what is going on? Is this real or is this his memory? Plant about Mars! Are you crazy? I don't even know anything about Mars! You should have listened to me, Quaid. I was there. Alright, I'm gonna go with my theory that this is a dr this is his dream. This is his recall memory. You got me mixed up with somebody else. Uh-uh, pal. You got yourself mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> there is no way that his construction buddies are like <laughs> Spies as well. Oh my god. Ooh. That was pretty cool, but there's no way his construction buddies were like secret agents as well. This is this must be like part of the simulation. Or if it is not, something really weird is going on. And why does he not know about recall? Is it like when you're in the dream you just forget? Why would spies want to kill you? I went to this recall place after work. You went to those brain butchers? Oh, let me finish. Wow. You're with a really smart woman. Guys and yet you still me. didn't listen to her? Fuck. Nobody tried to kill you. They did. But I killed them. Brain butchers is the perfect name for someone like that. You're having paranoid delusions. Exactly. You call this a delusion. I still don't know if it's real or fake or if he's like having a schizophrenic attack or something and, Doug, I'm gonna call a doctor. Don't, and killed don't his call friends anybody. from the construction site. Like, did he dream that with the Hello? guns? And I have so many questions. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been this confused with a movie. And also, intrigued. Wait a minute, was that Laurie shooting? Oh, this is a dream. This is his recall memory garbage. Lori. Yeah. No way his wife is gonna attack him in the balls and sabotage his future children like that. Yeah, there's no way. 
She's attacking the one part that matters the most right now. <laughs> A little too many times. This is not real. Why are you doing this, Lori? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh no. How do you even kill someone who's like... In our wedding. Was implanted by the agency. Falling in love. Implanted. Our friends, my job, eight years together. I suppose all of this was implanted too. There is no way. Why would the agency set up all of this? Identity and implanted a new one. I was written in as your wife so that I could watch you and make sure the erasure took. My head is about to explode. Okay then. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? Exactly my question. Who is he? And he was supposed to dream about a brunette or something, right? Why is he still thinking about his wife? You were the best assignment I ever had. Really. I'm honored. You sure you don't want to? No, this is a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you're so kinky. Maybe it's time you found out. No, this is not real. They were about to have the fight of their lives. She cut him seven times. Crushed his balls, and now she wants to have sex. Kinky edition. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. This would make me a raging. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. Oh my god, this would make me a raging schizo if this happens to me. That's what I mean. When you put something in your fucking head, an implant or something, it's gonna destroy you. Your brain is so fragile. It's so fragile, it doesn't even feel pain. So you wouldn't even know what the fuck's happening. He should have not picked Secret Agent. He should have picked like some d dumb shit, like alcoholic at the beach or something. What the fuck? What does he remember? Nothing so far. I've got him. Please tell me this is not real. Because this seems very real. And I'm about to have a panic attack right now. I don't know what's real and what's not. Okay. What? I'm going off off my intuition that this is not real. But it feels so fucking real. It's like... That way, go! It's so confusing. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. It's the secret agent dream. It's the secret agent dream. I swear. Oh. Get him! Hold it! He's Don't there. move! Ooh, this. <laughs> oh my god, this is sequence is bizarre. Oh, I don't think this is real because his shirt and everything is all right, but Sharon Stone cut him in the chest. There's, there's some blood visible, I think, but there's no cuts. I'm reading too much into this. This is like a puzzle piece. This whole movie. Even if this is not real, I think this why it feels so real is because you're me he's been going to this facility and working here with all the scanners and shit for so long. His brain is making it all real. Like, this is the environment that he's familiar with, so that's why he's having his secret agent nightmare in this location, I think. Worst video game ever. No respect for the dead two, just stepped on him. <laughs> oh, this is the train he takes to work, too. Oh, this is definitely his memory. He's, like, having his own... Yeah, that's so aggressive. He's having his whole uh, adventure within his memories. I think that's what it does. Don't settle for pale memories. Don't go for fake implants. Experience space travel the old-fashioned way on a real live holiday you can afford. No. I wouldn't experience space travel if you put a gun to my head. Whether it's virtual, unless it's a video game, I will do that. But I would not implant shit in my head. And I'm definitely not going to Mars. For real. If I wanted him dead, you moron, I wouldn't have dumped him on Earth. Lori says he can't remember jack shit. That's now. In an hour, he could have total recall. Ooh, movie title moment. This is what's uh, confusing the shit out of me. 
we're not just seeing the POV of Arnie here. We're also seeing the POV of these corporate goons. <laughs> Call him back! Call him back! I'm losing you. Where is he? Second level. Gallery. See what I mean? Like, we're seeing the POV for the, for, from the corporate goons as well. So why would Arnie imagine this part, right? We're also seeing the POV of the bad guys and Sharon Stone and everybody else. So what is real? And it would be hard to distinguish because this is all... If it's not real, then it's all Arnie's memories. Oh my god, never fuck with your brain. Never fuck with your memories. Don't do this. Don't bother searching the bugs in your skull. Wet a towel and wrap it around your head. That'll muffle the signal. Wrapping a towel around your head will, like, muffle the signal? What is this, a conspiracy theory about... Aliens reading your mind. All right. Ugh, this is just... <laughs> so every time I get out of the shower, nobody can read my brain or my brain implant. Come on, hurry up. You look this beautiful. Is so Who weird. are you? We were buddies in the agency back on Mars. You asked me if you disappeared to come and find you. So here I... Mm. So here is the part where it seems unreal. It seems like it's part of the... Amen. This is mine. I don't see your name on it. Someone left it for me. Go find your own bag. Excuse me, ma'am, but I need it. <gasps> Damn Karens, even in the dream. <laughs> they try to take claim of everything. Oh my god. This is the part where it feels unreal. It's like a secret agent trope. Of like... That guy there. Someone giving you the t tools necessary to live out your James Bond dreams. Like Q. Oh, anywhere, just go, go! Please state a street and number. Would you please repeat the information? Oh my god. Yup. That's what that annoying robot deserves. I hated it from the Fasten moment I saw it. Shut the fuck up. Fucking Guillermo del Toro's nightmare. <laughs> that car is a piece of shit. That car looks like it's made out of cardboard, too. It's so badly designed. Just saying. It looks like something I'd make for an art project in school. There is 18 credits, please. Sue me, dickhead. <laughs> Wait, what? The shit? Johnny Cap lost his shit. We hope you enjoyed the ride! Why did Johnny Cap malfunction like that? Did he actually get pissed off or did someone hijack his machine? Oh, I have so many questions with this movie. I don't think I've ever been this confused. Like, I've watched Donnie Darko, you guys. And that movie didn't seem as schizoid as this. Like, some parts seem super unreal, like this, like, luggage with, like, we were friends at the agency and Mars shit, because that came as part of the package, right? They said it. Like you would be a secret agent from Mars, but at the same time, like that part where he woke up and had a nightmare, that part also seemed real. Ooh, damn. Ooh, it's a projection. Okay, that is cool. That is a futuristic device I'd get behind. Dang, I can clone myself. Okay. There are some perks with Recall Incorporated. If things have gone wrong, I'm talking to myself, and you've got a wet towel wrapped around your head. You are not you. You are me. Now who the fuck was that? Was that another fragment of his memory? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm excited. I've worked for Mars Intelligence. I did Cohagen's dirty work. I met somebody. A woman. A woman? Does does he mean like the brunette that they implanted? Damn, Johnny Cab is still in flames. Must be a cobalt battery. Like in those Teslas that never stop burning. So let's get rid of that bug in your head and stick it up your nose. Don't worry, it's self-guiding. Stick it up your nose, bitch. Oh my god, you can't make me do that. Just shove real hard. Shove it up your ass. I can't believe it's... <laughs> when you hear the crunch, you're there. My man is getting a full-blown lobotomy <laughs> with this. What the fuck? 
Oh. He lobotomized himself, literally. I don't care if this is a dream or not, but if I do that in my dream... I'm gonna slap myself in the face when I wake up. Like, what the fuck are you dreaming about, girl? Just do what I tell you, and we can nail that son of a bitch who fucked you and me. This must be a part of the program. Like, a part of the ego trip to make it all make sense, so he doesn't actually lose his mind. Ooh. Oh, he fed the implant to the rats. <laughs> They're gonna follow the rats. There! <laughs> <laughs> Just wasting their ammo over and over again. Rat violence. Oh my god. Alright, this movie is a trip. Whatever Verhoeven was smoking while making this, and I guess this is Philip K. Dick's work. Man, I want some of that. This is insane, bruh. It's also very, like, Inception, you know? Inception had that problem. Like, dream within a dream within a dream. It makes it so confusing to figure out what's real and what's not. Passport. Damn, that's a tall woman. Okay. Get out of the way. Hey, Quay! Stand back! Is that Arnold? Like, he, she's carrying this Arnold's suitcase. But wait, Arnold destroyed his suitcase. The Martians love Coatho. They think he's fucking George Washington. Kill the bastard. <laughs> Nobody knows who he is. Hmm. Is he like the rebellion leader, Coatho? Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. What? Bruh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's Arnold. Yeah. That's Quay. Where? The woman. Get him. Her. Arrest that woman. She is like, he is wearing a weird disguise, but why is he malfunctioning? Bruh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Catch! Oh oh. I'm ready for a surprise! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh! Damn. Arnold looks good in a dress. But what the fuck was he wearing on his head? What kind of te what kind of fucked up technology was that? <laughs> it's like a oh, it's Mars. <laughs> this is so unrealistic. You would die immediately if a portal opened to Mars's atmosphere. Yeah, what the shit. Jesus. Open the goddamn door! I can't! Open it! They're all connected! Oh, if they open this door, then they open all the doors to Mars. Oh my god. Why did the woman's uh, mask malfunction? So fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know. You mean the pyramid mine? I used to work there until I found that alien shit inside. What alien shit? Are we gonna meet the rebellion leader too, Kuwato or whatever? I can sense that it's all happening on his in his head, but it would be so bizarre if it's actually real, all of it. Wow. It's like a mining colony for the substance. Do you know why I'm such a happy person? Because I've got the greatest job in the solar system. As long as the turbinium keeps flowing, I can do anything I want. Yeah. The only thing I ever worry about is that one day, if the Rebels win, it all might end. And you're fucking making it happen! God, he's such a classic corporate asshole. He reminds me of the dude from Robocop. You do what you're told. That's what you do. Yes, sir. 
He's such a cartoonish fracking oil billionaire villain that We've got a this actually here. seems, Quattro you know, wants what's in Quaid. like a like Arnie's dream. Taxi? You need a taxi, sir? I got magazines, I got music, I got whiskey. Hey, hey, man, you need a cab, man? Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time I've traveled within my country, uh, <laughs> there's always a taxi driver gang that just like harasses you until you enter into one of theirs. I don't mind it, but holy shit, they just run with your luggage sometimes. Hey man, you need a cab? Well, what's wrong with this one? <laughs> he ain't got five kids to feed. <laughs> Where's yours? Right over there, All man. All right. Hey man, that's my bag. Hey asshole. <laughs> Oh wow, the rebellion is here. What the hell was that? An accident? That's the rebels, man. Let's get out of here. Oh wow. What do the rebels want? All the usual. More money, more freedom, more air. The usual. Just as it happens here on Earth. <laughs> it's no different so, than Mars. Where to? Last resort. Wow, they're so used You're to it. The cab driver is unfazed. It's like they're living in a war zone. You know, you just get used to it. That is a drilling vehicle, isn't it? For terrinium or terbinium or something. <laughs> hey, do you see anything you like? <laughs> this looks like Thailand, but in Mars. <laughs> Do you want to know the future? What about the past? <laughs> Damn, that is a one-liner. <laughs> oh my bad, god. Huh? This is so incredibly 90s. Read your palm. Your mind. What the shit happened to her? Birthday. What is it? You're a Taurus, right? How did you guess? What happened? Now old psychics are... Freak? What happened to them? Are they she aliens knows. or humans? There's nowhere to clean out the rain. Oh, so humans. That's what happens when you you're in Mars. Hey, man, I got five kids to be. Take him to the dentist. Don't have so many hey, kids. Hey, thanks, Mr. <laughs> if you're that, if you're struggling that much. Looking for Melina. Well, she's busy. But uh, Mary here, she's free. Not free, honey, but uh, available. Oh my God. Thanks. I'll wait for Melina. <laughs> Slime. <laughs> okay, that's something that you'll only see in Mars, not on Earth. I think someone would, some freak would pay great money for that. May, would I? For three dicks? No. Too much. Too many dicks. Ooh. She looks like the girl that they designed in their little brain butcher factory. If you need any help with this one, give me a This holler. whole bar is... Too much of a freak show, to be real, but then again, this is a Verhoeven film. I'm still not sure. I think that's the beauty of it. You don't know what's real and what's you fake. Son of a bitch. I don't remember you. <laughs> what did you get, Amnesia? How did you get here? Oh, I don't know if they erased the agent's memory or if they erased the real man's memory. You've lost your mind. I didn't lose my mind. Cohagen stole it. I feel like I'm losing my mind right now, but I'm also super entertained. Too weird. And he dumped me on Earth with a wife and a lousy child. Did you, say, supposed to did you say wife? Are you fucking married? <laughs> <laughs> like how stupid of me. She was Hauser's wife? Look, forget that I said... So no, the imaginary that. woman is angry that he's technically cheating on her. <laughs> what? This is... This is bizarro world. You just used me to get inside. Inside what? I think you better leave. I know I was kidding. But There's enough in here to nail Cohagen for good. Get out. Out! Helena, please. People are trying to kill me. Really? This is so messed up, too. Because if Sharon Stone is real, and I'm betting that she is, this will mess him up. This will... <laughs> okay, that's so weird. <laughs> Baby, you make me wish I had God. three hands. I, I can like never unsee the three tits. But this is so bizarre because like it's going to mess up with his brain when he actually goes back to reality to back to Sharon Stone he doesn't know if he actually is in love with her anymore because this Melina chick is also going to be real in his mind man where are we at recall 
You're strapped into an implant chair, and I'm monitoring you from the psychoprobe console. Hmm. Is this a way for his brain to trying to tell him to wake up? What you're experiencing is a freeform delusion based on our memory tapes, but you're inventing it yourself as you go along. Yeah, your brain is a complicated thing. You don't mess with it. It will form its own memories, even false ones. I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Quaid, but you've suffered a schizoid embolism. We can't snap you out of your fantasy. How much is Cohagen paying you for this? If this is real, then that whole schizoid embolism panic was actually real. So they messed it up. And what about the girl? Just as you specified, is that coincidence? She's real. I dreamt about it before I even went to recall. <laughs> yeah, your brain is like mushing your memories, maybe dreams, and reality all together. Well, maybe this will convince you. <sighs> Would you mind opening the door? And the brain tries to make sense of all kinds of craziness. It would try to make sense of, like, trauma and everything. I love you. Right. That's why he tried to kill me. No. Damn, don't tell me his brain is tr turning his wife's memory into a negative one, like she's the enemy or something. What is it? It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. Inside your dream, you'll fall asleep. Hmm, huh. maybe he likes this chaos more than his boring construction worker life and his plain blonde wife. The consequences to you would be devastating. In your mind, I'll be dead. And with no one to guide you out, you'll be stuck in permanent psychosis. Don't do it, Doug. The secret agent thing might seem very adventurous, but it's not real. You'll even have fantasies about alien civilizations. But in the end, back on Earth, you'll be lobotomized. Now take the pill and put it in your mouth. Be smart, Dougie boy. Swallow it. Go ahead, sweetheart. Oh, he really hates his old life, doesn't he? Oh, wow, he's sweating too. Oh, God. If that shit was real, real in his mind, then he's gonna be stuck in this schizophrenic nightmare forever. Like the doctor said, there's nothing worse than this. You know how much I hate this fucking planet. What does Sharon Stone have against Arnold Schwarzenegger's future children? Can someone explain it to me? She always goes for the nut shot. Really bizarre. I can't even imagine what's happening in real life right now. It's probably like about to have electroshock therapy or something. Ooh. <laughs> Wife versus mistress. Let's go. Be reasonable. After all, we're married. Oh no. Oh no. Consider that a divorce. That was your wife? Don't tell me the delusion starts getting jealous again. I'm really concerned right now because he just killed his the memory of his wife as a really, really negative thing. Maybe his paranoid delusion is making it seem like his wife and his old life and all of it is just all negative elements. And this delusion, this woman that it doesn't exist, all of this are his friends. Like he's trying, to, he's starting to accept the delusion and reject the reality. If that's the case, then oh my god, that is horrible. He didn't just kill his wife, he killed the idea of his wife right now. Like his wife, who was a sweetheart, if the initial scenes were real, then his brain just turned her into this like evil villain bitch who just crushes his balls. All the time, for some reason. If he ever wakes up from his schizoid embolism, I don't even know how he's gonna treat Sharon Stone. Because he's not gonna look at her in a positive light after this. Need a ride? Mass resort, quick! You guys are going in circle! That's an awesome cab driver. Damn, I should hire him. What are you trying to do to me, man? Shut up and try! <laughs> hey, I got five kids to feed! We know already, Jesus. What are those cars? They look like drilling machines. Oh, looks like one of the five kids are gonna die. He won't be able to feed them anymore. His taxi's gone. 
Damn. That door was super discreet too. I really like that. Wanna have some fun? Where are they? She really oh, likes yeah. showing off those three tits. Oh, didn't have to kill her. She had a special talent and everything. Maybe you know. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tom. He was the real one. It's amazing that nobody's giving up their location, too. Oh, my God. oh her name is Thumbelina. <laughs> that is so awesome. Thumbelina's a badass. What the fuck? What did they shut down? Did they shut down their oxygen or something? Don't tell me they shut off their oxygen? The first oh, you assholes. They worked themselves to death like, even if this is not them. real, which I'm still not sure about, that is a shitty thing to do. Build cheap domes and watch the kids turn into freaks. I saw them. And if you want to breathe, you have to buy his air. Oh my god. You have to buy air to survive. You know, this is going to be reality. Like Nestle or some other big corp will do this if Mars becomes habitable. They'll be like, you either buy our oxygen or we'll smoke you out. It's already starting to happen with the water on Earth, so... God, this is definitely a reality. Come on, Melina. Guato's waiting. Hey, I didn't find Grandpa, but... Oh, these must be the rebels. I'm on your side. Oh, wow. You're a mutant, huh? I wonder what his five kids look like. Do they all have the praying mantis arm? That would be cool. Have you tried ramming down the door? You wait here. Follow me. This is also a cave, and I'm gonna start getting a little philosophical here, don't mind me. It seems like Arnie is going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, isn't he? Like, Alice, in his own mind, he's like, accepting his delusion a lot more by making all of this story to try and like, cope with the fact that he's like, having a schizoid embolism. You're Quato, right? Wrong. Quato's a mutant. So don't get upset when you see him. Can't wait to meet this Quado fella. Wonder what he looks like. What the sh... Okay, what the f fuck is happening? What? <laughs> no way, that's not Quado. That is not Quado. What the shit? This is Hellboy. Remember in Hellboy, where one of the shopkeepers had a tumor that was talking? A man is defined <laughs> by his action, not his memory. Take my hand. Don't take his hand. Ew, fuck. Gross. Open your mind to me. Open your mind. Doesn't his voice sound a bit like... I'm sorry I can't do that, Dave. Open your <laughs> From 2001 A Space Odyssey? Open your mind. What is it? A million? Half a million? Not half a million. Half a million years old. Wow. What is that? Okay. Looks like a mutant hand. Uh... Wait, what the shit? Wake up! Oh, it's one of those drilling machine cars. Oh, that was the craziest shit ever. Baby, I'm Never forget the taxi driver. He's your ride home. Oh. Damn, he killed two people with one shot. Can you do this? You're a mutant. 
I got four kids to feed. So what happened to number five? <laughs> Did he sacrifice number five? You got me. <laughs> I ain't even married. Now put your fucking hands in the air. He mixed up his amount of kids that he had. Dark the reactor. Free Aw. Poor tumor baby. Mr. Cohagen would like to talk to you. What in the absolute shit is going on? Even the taxi driver can't be trusted. That's well, so sad. Great man. So that was Cueto. Cuato. You're a hero. Whatever. Fuck you. Huh? Well, Hauser and I sat down and invented you. The perfect mole. Wow. The brain is such a complicated thing. They put him on this ego trip, but you know that he has invented all of this shit himself. Well, Kohagen, I have to hand it to you. It's the best mindfuck yet. Indeed. That's the name for this movie, mindfuck. Not Total Recall, not whatever. It's a true mindfuck. Howdy, Quaid. If you're listening to this, that means that Quato is dead and you have led us to him. Yeah, this is what's gonna fuck him up. This is what's gonna increase the schizo nightmare. It is himself talking. I think it's like a w his mind trying to mold this like brand new personality into his conscience. Like, you are this guy. You bastards! Please tell me it's over. Oh my god. If it's actually over and this is his brain trying to wake him up... He's gonna wake up a completely different man, isn't he? He's gonna wake up as... The fucking villain of the story, not the hero. He's gonna wake up hating his old life and accepting this reality. Or some shit. I don't even know. Oh my god. This looks like electroshock therapy. Guy's a fucking asshole. Not true. It's one of my best friends. Besides, he's got a big house and a Mercedes. All the things he wanted. How does it feel being... The bad guy. Yes, what is it? Sir, the oxygen level is bottoming out in sector G. What do you want me to do about it? Oh. Fuck him. Be a good lesson to the others. Come on, Cohagen, you got what you want. Give these people air. <sighs> Sounds like a true corporation. They will cut off the air if you go against them. Keep still. Fighting just makes it hurt. <laughs> He's about to pop his melon right now. Ooh. If this is not real, he's still not accepting it. He's not accepting that he's Hauser. He doesn't want to. He still loves his old life. Ooh. Holy shit. Can't beat reality. Go back to your old life, to the hottest woman ever. Kill him. Oh my god. You're a fucking bitch. You don't allow the humans to breathe. You don't allow the fishes to breathe. Capital is cool. I was reading about the Nestle Corporation and what happened to those like little babies. I haven't finished the podcast episode yet. It's from Behind the Bastards, great podcast. Like so many infants died because of one corporation's Where are you fuck going? up. To the reactor. I still have to read up on that. It was a riveting episode. You remember me? <laughs> Benny. God damn. Taxi driver went rogue here. I know he destroyed your vehicle, but holy shit, guy. What the shit? Oh my god. How do you even get out of this thing? Who would have thought that the taxi driver would have been their worst nightmare? Oh my god, that was a fucking nightmare. On your left. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> These goddamn one-liners. I never thought the taxi driver would be such a huge threat. I think everybody's a threat in his mind right now. Like a paranoid delusion. Shit. Oh, this is the thing that he was uh, dreaming within his dream. God, this movie is fucking Inception on steroids. Gohagan knows it makes air. The bastard won't turn it on. Of course not. If Mars had an atmosphere, he'd lose control. So in this world, this delusion, Mars has the capacity to make an atmosphere because of turbinium. Of course, the corporation is not going to allow that. Bad for business. For everyone to breathe? Sure. Enough for the whole planet. If we turn it on on time. Where does this end? I'm so intrigued. Where does this go? What's real and what isn't? Because in his reality, too, there's like this going on. This whole thing is a delusion because it's real. In his real world, Mars is being exploited for turbinium. We saw it in the news time and time again. So what's going to happen in reality? What the fuck? Is he Neo? Why did none of the bullets hit him? <laughs> what is even happening? <laughs> oh! Oh, that was smart. I forgot about this thing. He's got a hologram! The hologram machine. Okay, that was smart. I was like, did he turn into Neo in this Matrix? Ooh, it's so trippy, dude. <laughs> you think this is the real Quaid? It is. Don't pause, you bitch. Keep shooting. God. Oh, this is a hologram. This is a hologram. Oh, they're gonna defeat the bad guys. One hologram at a time. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. God, this is a really tough bad guy too. Yeah, you're coming with me! He's insane. Give me a one-liner, give me a one-liner. Come on. Ooh. See you at the party, Richter. That's the best you could come up with. I think Screw You was the best one in this movie. So fitting. So again, I'm going to get a little philosophical here. He's ascending. He's ascending upwards and upwards. He came out of the cave. So is he, like, coming back to reality a bit? I wanted Hauser back, but no. You had to be Quaid. I am Quaid. You're nothing! He's accepting it. He's accepting that he is Quaid. He wants to go back. Good. This Hauser bullshit has gone on long enough. Just turn on the reactor or whatever you need to and come back. Enough of this. Is that a bomb or some shit? Yep, it is. Ooh. Oh. This opened the door to fucking... <laughs> to an atmosphere-less planet. I mean, there is an atmosphere, but not sustainable to humans. <laughs> oh, shit. Just turn on the reactor. Or let go, who cares? None of this is real. I hope. Melina, hold on! Don't do it! We'll all die! You're about to die anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, bitch, bye! <laughs> oh my god, that was... Ooh. Don't tell me he survives that. Yeah. Yep. No air, bitch. Oh, look at that imprint. 
Aliens for sure built this. Ooh, damn. Ooh. This is the kind of gruesome death that Arnie dreamed in the first scene. Holy shit. Yeah. He's not surviving that. But will Arnold survive this? Because Mars supposedly has an atmosphere now. That was satisfying to watch. That death. <laughs> So they don't survive this? Was it all a lie? Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, they have air again. They don't need that air conditioner or whatever they were... They got going on. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Is that like a volcanic eruption of oxygen? Whoa. What the fuck? Is this a shockwave or just <laughs> really strong oxygen? I did count. It was more than a minute they were without air. I think it was like two minutes and their eyes were popping out of their skulls. They were in Mars atmosphere without a helmet or an oxygen tank. Yeah. Truly a movie moment. Oh, wow, look at that. Millions and billions of years of fucking atmosphere in two minutes. Look at that. So this is Martian Big Bang, I guess. Not even Big Bang, but, you know. When the Earth became hospitable for life. <laughs> okay. Too good to be true. I guess this is why it's a delusion. I guess this is something that Arnold's character, uh, Quaid, always wanted Mars to have. And if it's actually real, then he succeeded. He gave Martians clean air, gave Martians a new atmosphere. I can't believe it. It's like a dream. I don't know if it is or not. I just had a terrible thought. What if this is a dream? Well, then kiss me quick before you wake up. <laughs> yeah, you better do it before your wife catches you. And will be like, what the fuck? Oh, you assholes! <laughs> no! No, you can't do this to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Oh, fuck! Oh, you asshole. For Hooven? So you're not even gonna answer my questions, huh? Oh my god. Wow. Like, I'm left with like a hundred questions. The biggest one being whether or not this was real. I guess it wasn't, or I don't even know if it was, but... Ugh, this is like one of those moments where I actually wish that the director, the filmmaker, the movie gave me some answers, gave me some legit, credible sense at the end of the movie. This like happens many times. I watched that movie Enemy. I watched Donnie Darko. Usually movies with Jake Gyllenhaal for some reason where they don't give us the answers. But I guess this is one of those times where I had like so much fun. Like I wanted to find out what was going on. This movie from the get go was a wild ride. The moment where Schwarzenegger like had a dream that his eyes popped out of his skull. I'm like, okay. This is gonna be one of those movies. This is gonna be like John Carpenter's The Thing, where I'm actually going to see someone's death in its full gore, in its full practical effects, 80s makeup gore, you know? And I was in for it. But the moment he accepted the whole ego trip garbage, like, I was in for a ride where the roller coaster went off the rails and it took me somewhere I didn't expect. I'm very glad that it's like I, I it's a completely unexpected story but at the same time oh my god this movie left me with more questions than answers and you know what 
I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that a lot. Like, so many movies spoon feed you the entire plot line and this movie didn't even care. It told me to go fuck myself, it told me to screw myself, and it told me to make up my own ending, you know? And I kind of like it, I kind of dig it, but this is one of those movies where it would truly do an injustice for me to just sit here and give my stream of consciousness thoughts. I have a lot more to say, but I feel like I gotta watch this a couple of times, two, three times at least, rewatch it, come back with uh, my proper thoughts. So, be right back. You know, I've done my due diligence trying to write a <laughs> review for this movie and I hit a brick wall of sorts, so I went into the internet to watch, like, to to read some of the more, like, talented minds and what they had to say, and I feel like everybody has a mixed opinion about this film. Roger Ebert said something, but The Guardian said something else. I feel that was the movie's intent. It didn't exactly tell us anything while giving us a lot of clues on whether or not this was real or fake. But I feel like the bottom line is it doesn't matter if it was real or fake. The message is evident. If a big corporation gets hold of Mars, it's going to exploit it for its natural resources. It's going to charge people for air. And the owner, a CEO, whatever, is going to be the new king of sorts. So after watching this film, I'm totally not on board on Elon Musk's new arc that he's going to send to Mars. No, thank you. Enough from me and now I want to know from you guys. What did you think about Total Recall? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Have you watched the remake? I'm actually excited to check out the remake and how they how they could even twist this film. Did they do a shot for shot remake or did they have their own twist into this really, really awesome film? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to read and interact with you guys. And of course, if you want to watch the full reaction to this or if you just want to support the channel, you can at patreon.com slash Nation or you can make a one time donation at buy me a coffee at Shrey Nation. You can also become a channel member by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button. You can also subscribe to my second channel in case anything happens to this one. And for podcasts, tutorials, and many, many more on the back end work of this channel. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking to the very end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I didn't waste your time. See you next video.